a little update on my bees. Uh, me, Eric and Arthur. Arthur is hiding in the car. Eric was helping me with bees. We checked all of them today. In, they're in Gallatin. And I wanted to give you an update. Some of them, you can see, they didn't have queens. They didn't have eggs. They didn't have cap brood. I don't know what happened with them, but I had I have a couple of them. Um, and they didn't have queen for some reason. So I just added a frame with... Uh, fresh eggs and brood to those boxes and they're gonna make their own queen but some boxes you can see have third box here's what happened here's what how I do it I when I brought these bees from Florida and these are hives that Florin uh, gave me as a gift so when I brought them they were in one level like one box I added second box on top so they will bring this local honey so when you see the third box, means they filled up the second box with um, honey and eggs. And I just raised whatever honey was, I put on the third box. And the second box, I put them empty frame so queen can lay in two boxes. In lower box and second box. And honey would be only on top. So when I come to collect honey, on the third box is going to be only local honey. It's not going to be mixed with anything. It's just going to be fresh, local honey best quality and look at this box right here is the rose rounds look at these bees they are out and waiting for their uh, turn to go in and put honey inside so these are rose rounds they're the rounds that are gonna have comb honey so these are the two ones that were able to make them and this last pallet the last pallet on the left look a lot of bees outside I just I didn't have enough boxes like I have boxes but I don't have frames for them so I'll have to go and grab three more and maybe I will put Ross rounds because these are very strong hives and they have a lot of bees outside you can see so it's it's kind of hot inside and they are waiting outside so I'm gonna bring some Ross round boxes and put it here and they're gonna make comb honey fresh local comb honey from Tennessee and this is gonna be awesome because uh, I would be able to share it with you guys, sell it to you, and whatever money you guys are uh, paying for honey, for my honey, I put it back in the bees. Because like right now, I don't have enough boxes, I don't have enough frames, and I, like each box with frames cost me about 35, 40 dollars. So it's a lot of, a lot of boxes I need more, and I need a lot of money, like, around ten thousand dollars more to be able to continue with bees and and buy more boxes with frames so they can they can work and they can build themselves so it's a lot of fun it's an expensive hobby but here's the thing i do it quality i don't want a lot of honey i don't want a lot of a lot of bees i don't want to do anything extra because when i if I would want that, I would have to feed them sugar syrup. They would mix it with the honey, and that wouldn't be a quality. And I want quality, so I don't mix, I don't give them any sugar syrup right now. After I take off the honey, and I stop collecting honey for the year, I will take off the honey, and then I will split them, and I will give them sugar syrup so they can build, because nothing is gonna be blooming here in Tennessee. So after I take honey, high quality, pure honey I will start giving them sugar syrup and and so they can grow and I'm not gonna pick up I'm not gonna take this honey that I, they will mix with sugar syrup this year so they're gonna have it for themselves for the winter they're gonna have to enjoy it and uh, the quality honey the pure clear honey you guys are gonna be able to buy it and enjoy it if you have any questions about bees if you want to start bees not sure with what start them let me know I'll be happy to help if I missed some of your messages I'm sorry I'm trying to catch up with anything if you texted me and I didn't reply please text me again and remind me and I will be happy to answer all your questions and I really appreciate you guys watching my uh, videos um, supporting me with buying honey with donating money uh, it helps me a lot and bees we need bees as humanity so I love doing it i love sacrificing my time for it i'm not making money with this <laughs> i'm just putting a lot of money in in the bees because i love them i love them it's it's my hobby it's an expensive hobby hopefully next generation is gonna pick it up as well 
Uh, that generation, I don't know what they're gonna pick up, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but Eric is helping me a lot. So again, thanks for watching my videos. Let me know if you have any questions and let's do something more.